All right, everybody, today we're going to be making some chicken enchiladas. I'm going to be using some of the 40-pound box of chicken thighs I made. I ground up half of it. I used quite a bit for some uh, chicken sticks. I left a bunch of it whole in the chicken thighs, and then I ground up, like I said, about 20 pounds worth. So this is a good uh, way to use it. I do my vegetables first, brown up some onions, I have some banana peppers, so I throw in some garlic, some roasted diced tomatoes. And if you guys haven't figured it out yet, I cover a lot of bases on Let's Do This. Teach you how to save money buying food in bulk. I do some woodworking. I do some home maintenance. I do a whole bunch of stuff. So that's kind of what you're going to get. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of a random, random box of things. So here we go, stirring up the enchilada sauce. Here's the uh, star of the show. This ground chicken thighs is so versatile. You can use it for anything. You can use it, obviously, in enchiladas and tacos. You can make it into Italian sausages for pizzas, meatballs. You can use it for the snack sticks. Just, uh, you know, open up five, six packs at a time. And then you can stuff it into its casings. So here we go, adding the meat. And when you're making enchiladas, I find it easier to save some of your sauce. Obviously, you want to put it in the uh, bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick. And then when you're filling up your tortillas, you want to save some to put on top of everything so it doesn't dry out when you have it in the oven. So put in some of the filling and then spread some cheese on top. And then for extras, whatever you like, obviously sour cream, refried beans. That's some of the things that I use. Um, other things I put inside mine have been corn, uh, the uh, black beans. It's all good stuff. But this meal, I don't know, probably costs about 15 bucks once you figure what chicken thighs are. So real cheap family meal. Fed us probably two or three times. At the end of the video here, you're going to see my four-year-old's reaction to how we like the enchiladas. I put them in that 375 for about 15 minutes. Had the cheese melting on top. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe, like, leave a comment, anything else you want to see me cook. I should try these on the grill. That's what I should be doing. Everybody expects me to be grilling everything, so maybe next time. There was a Star Wars reference there with my uh, heat pad and uh, glove. Enchiladas turned out really good. I enjoyed those for uh, at least two meals. I probably had them for breakfast, supper, and lunch the next day, too. Here we go. How is it, Johnny? Good. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.